Earlier today, the DOJ Inspector General announced that Comey broke agency rules when he gave a friend a copy of a memo on President Trump. Comey claims he instructed the friend to share the information with the New York Times. He claims he did it to force the creation of a special counsel to investigate the president's alleged ties to Russia. We all know how that turned out. But in the report, the inspector general said, quote, by not safeguarding sensitive information obtained during the course of his FBI employment and by using it to create public pressure for official action, Comey set a dangerous example for the over 35,000 current FBI employees and the many thousands for more former FBI employees who similarly have access to or knowledge of non-public information. But back in 2017, Comey said the whole thing was no big deal. Watch. Did you show copies of your memos to anyone outside of the Department of Justice? Yes. My judgment was I needed to get that out into the public square. And so I asked a friend of mine to share the content of the memo with a reporter. Didn't do it myself for a variety of reasons, but I asked him to because I thought that might prompt the appointment of a special counsel. Hmm, for a variety of reasons. Today, the president went off on Comey, tweeting, quote, perhaps never in the history of our country has someone been more thoroughly disgraced and excoriated than James Comey in the just released Inspector General's report. He should be ashamed of himself. And in a statement, the White House said, James Comey is a proven liar and leaker. The inspector general's report shows Comey violated the most basic obligations of confidentiality that he owes the United States government and to the American people in order to achieve a personally desired outcome. Because Comey shamefully leaked information to the press in blatant violation of FBI policies, the nation was forced to endure the baseless, politically motivated two-year witch hunt. Comey disgraced himself and his office to further a personal political agenda, and this report further confirms that fact. But if you ask James Comey himself, he seems to have reached a completely different conclusion. In fact, he claims he's the victim here, tweeting, DOJ IG found no evidence that Comey or his attorneys released any of the classified information contained in any of the memos to members of the media. I don't need a public apology from those who defamed me, but a quick message with a sorry we lied about you would be nice. The DOJ claims they have decided not to. To prosecute. But what's the real story? And who's right, James Comey or the White House? Joining me tonight, former special assistant to President Trump and Trump 2020 strategic communications director, Mark Lauder. Mark, welcome. Yeah, thanks for having me. Mark, okay, liar and a leaker or I'm the victim? Which one is it? <laughs> liar and leaker uh, confirmed end of story uh, this show this showed exactly what we've known the president has known for a long time that Jim Comey put his self-interest his biased political interest ahead of the interest of the American people of the Department of Justice and the FBI and there is no more shameful or disgraceful accusation you can make to a public employee than to tell them that they put themselves above the needs of the country and their job and he should be in shame for it. Well, obviously he's not ashamed. I don't know if we're going to be seeing any more pictures of him out in the woods, but today he said he's the one who's owed an apology. He also wrote his book, A Higher Loyalty. So you know what he said. Mark, he admitted to everything you just said. He said, but I did it for a higher purpose. Is that going to fly? Obviously the media likes to buy into Comey's narrative. Is it going to work? No, because his higher purpose was his own purpose, not the needs of the government, not need the needs of the Justice Department or the FBI. The IG report said you set a dangerous precedent for the tens of thousands of people that work in that department that think they can put their judgment, their personal partisan beliefs above the law, above the needs of our country. And that is not something that we can stand for. Well, we know that he, he lied to Grassley. He did lie when he said he, he didn't put out any information to the public. Um, but is, why, did he not, why is he not being prosecuted? That's the real question. What's your theory? Well, I'll leave it to the professionals at the Justice Department to make those determinations because, as we all know, from a prosecutor's perspective, it's not just what we can say that we know. You've got to be able to prove it in a court of law, and that is a higher standard. And so, look, I think just exposing Jim Comey for the lying, leak, leaking, disgraceful person that he was at the end of his tenure of the FBI is good enough for the, for the Justice Department, and it is just the first shoe to fall because let's not forget 
forget the IG has another report coming which will uncover the, the shady uh, tactics that were used at the start of this false uh, witch hunt. Uh, Mark, what do you have to say about this breaking news? Uh, President Trump's personal assistant, Madeleine Westerhout, uh, was let go. I guess she resigned, but she was definitely uh, shown the door. What's going on there? Apparently, she shared some personal information about the president and his family. Well, and I'm not, I'm not aware of the specific details of it. I've obviously just seen some of the, the top headlines here. Uh, look, as a former person who worked in the White House and very close to the president and the vice president, you always have to be very careful about the personal information you have about the operations of their office and the information that you know just about them as human beings, especially when you're in a public setting. Uh, I also know Madeline well. And you dealt with so her. I've dealt with her on many occasions, have a lot of respect for her. And, and if something like that was divulged, and I'm not sure I'm going based on what you're telling me, yeah. then obviously that's something that violates that personal confidence that so many of us know and respect that when you're this close to those types of highly elected officials, you just have to have a certain level of decorum that can never be broken.